Hi everyone, welcome to the value. So today we're looking at Biora Therapeutics. Now this stock recently gained 155%. Now that is impressive. And in a pre-market, another 48%. Um, so something must be up with the stock and you wouldn't be wrong. So in terms of what this company does, it is trying to um, eliminate needles and have it so you take all your medicines by pills. Now wouldn't everyone just rejoice if that was the case? Um, of course, uh, these guys are a long way off from actually getting commercialized, but it's when it comes to investing, it's not about that. Um, every time this company hits a milestone, um, the value of this company builds up for its share price. Um, and at the current market valuation, after going up 155%, it is $48 million. And then if we go by the pre-market, potentially this company could be valued around $70 million uh, based on that $8 uh, share price. So in terms of what these guys do, basically you take a pill and then it's a very, very technical pill where it knows where it's going for your body and then when it gets a certain area in your body, it releases a medicine. So I'll show you this video and it just gives you a much, much better idea of it. Biora OBDS Delivery System A patient swallows the capsule, which contains a dose of medication and is about the size of a multivitamin. Once swallowed, the capsule transits naturally through the gastrointestinal tract. The sensitive biologic drugs inside the capsule are protected from stomach acids. As the capsule progresses through the small intestine, an enteric coating slowly dissolves, activating liquid jet release of the drug, which flows painlessly into the intestinal mucosa and into the surrounding blood vessels. Medication then enters the body's circulatory system, achieving delivery of biologics without the use of needles. After delivery, the capsule continues its transit through the gastrointestinal tract and exits the body in the usual manner. All right, so you just saw the video and I think you get the idea. It is a very innovative solution, uh, also very technical, so potentially it could take a lot to perfect. Um, but if you're in a stock potentially just to make some gains, um, as each milestone that they reach, uh, potentially they just gain um, a good amount of value and potentially just exit before they've even gotten to uh, their first clinical trial or even those results. Um, so in terms of uh, what's gotten the stock moving is they had an announcement where Biora Therapeutics receives pre-IND uh, uh, feedback from FDA and provides uh, updates on key programs for 2023. Uh, so basically these guys are putting together a clinical trial that they hopefully could have running before the end of um, the, the first half of this year. And their target is uh, p patients with ul ulcerative colitis which is basically an inflamed uh, bowel disease um, and potentially the solution we take a pill in it and in where the area is inflamed uh, releases the medicine and potentially it could be a more effective and targeted approach uh, than what's available um, currently uh, it sounds you know in a sense uh, their pill technology um, is uh, quite innovative uh, but at the same time, with innovation, it's also very technical. Um, but I don't think the market cares at all. The market's looking at this and going, potentially, this is a very, very nice solution uh, to not having to take a needle. Um, oh, like, yeah, basically, anything to not take a needle, right? Um, in terms of assets, this company has about $48 million in cash. Um, it's not that reassuring that they had $88 million um six months prior to that and they managed to use nearly half the cash so yeah that that is quite a massive burn in terms of the cash um they will need to raise more money um probably in another few more quarters of course uh in terms of liabilities um basically they have quite a lot of um all right so just try to line up some getting so basically they have 127 million dollars in convertible notes which can be converted to shares um so the debt, that debt isn't too much of a problem um they've got standard debt i guess of a yeah so uh yeah no gen generally not that much not the debt's not as concerning uh per se 
Um, you're actually just more concerned about how much money they're burning. Um, they've got 48 million, so they've got a couple of quarters to kind of get things going into a clinical trial, and then after that, raise more money on some good results. Um, in terms of revenue, basically non-existent revenues, uh, research and development, and and selling general and administrative costs. So these guys are using about fourteen million dollars um, per quarter. Um, but of course, that seems like the expenses do change every quarter, um, as you can see with two thousand twenty-one. Or unless they've just reduced their expenses uh, for the t for the current uh, situation. Uh, given that they don't actually hold a lot of cash. Uh, so yeah, 48 million kind of basically um, it matches with their current valuation. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of see that it just matches with their current valuation. But that was in June, of course. They've probably used a bit of cash already. Um, so it's only been six months since then. Um, yeah, in terms of that, um, the company itself, I think there's probably some risks in investing in it right now uh, because it's gone up so much that there's a chance that it, can't, it pulls back quite strongly uh, though of course if you believe in what these guys have potentially um, it's worth holding in the longer run like um, when I started the video pre-market was about 49% or so now it's at 31-32% so it's not very reassuring around this pre-market pricing uh, potentially the value of this stock could go up quite a bit um, but it also it could potentially go down by quite a bit so it's quite a risky one uh, worth looking into it if you actually like the idea of the stock and then um, potentially uh, yeah like it could it could it could go any other way really at the moment with this stock um, it is probably at this level it's probably in a traders territory um, the prior trading day when it went out 155% that was more with the actual fundamentals of whether reaching and now uh, this trading day that's about to start it's more in a traders perspective um, so yeah like it's probably hard to tell which way it's going to go entirely um, that yeah overall uh, looks like an interesting company I'll let you decide what your thoughts are on this company. Um, I, I haven't really settled entirely what my thoughts are. I think the concept's really cool. I think um, there's also a really long way before they go, before they get commercialized. Um, but yeah, overall, um, decent company um, in terms of an idea. Uh, until then, good luck investing, everyone. And if you've got any questions, comments, post below.